Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today is another video that we are going to look at some books and uh, create bookmarks uh, that match them. We will create three bookmarks uh, that will be quite simple and nice uh, to match our books. So I will show you the books. Uh, it's uh, One is Nine Perfect Strangers from Leanne Moriarty. One is Love is Blind from William Boyd. And uh, the other is The Moon Sister from Lucinda Riley. From what I understood, you quite liked uh, my first video talking about books and uh, creating bookmarks. Uh, so I decided to keep going and create a section with this. Um, first, I have Nine Perfect Strangers uh, from Leanne Moriarty. Uh, it, she's the writer of Big Little Lies, which became a Netflix series and uh, became quite popular. Uh, the inside of the uh, cover has the same uh, design as the outside cover. This is a mystery thriller. If you haven't read Big Little Lies, you should definitely read it before watching the series. Uh, the book is really amazing. Uh, I love her writing. Um, another favorite of mine is My Husband's Secret, if you haven't read. Nine Perfect Strangers is her new release, so I haven't read it yet, but uh, I will uh, soon for sure. It uh, takes place in a health and wellness resort called Tranquilim House and uh, it's about nine strangers that go there for a spa retreat uh, but uh, someone is watching over them as it says which is the resource director it's a woman uh, on a mission and uh, behind all these uh, tranquil uh, weekend that is planned uh, actually, something dark is going to happen. So let's move on to the bookmark. Uh, today I'm going to use uh, Strathmore Bristol paper for my bookmarks. It's very thick and uh, smooth and it can take watercolor really well. That's why I chose it. I think I will get better performance. And I cut it uh, already uh, several uh, bookmarks that uh, I can uh, create easily. I'm going to also use this uh, tool to round the edges. Uh, somehow I don't like the hard edges, but it's totally up to you. As usual, you will find the list of supplies down below at the description area. Looking at the colors uh, on the cover, I'm going to use uh, Distress or Distress Oxides uh, to create the same color uh, effect. And uh, I'll use this uh, little finger tool, finger sponge, uh, to start with uh, colors. You will see the colors I'm using uh, on the screen as I'm using them. I will just uh, start with uh, the crushed olive and then moving to mold lawn uh, and I will uh, continue uh, crossing from one color to another until I am happy with how it looks. Uh, I'm just keeping the book uh, next to me just to look at the colors and uh, make sure I have the right order. I am uh, a start. I was planning to only color the middle of the um, bookmark, but then you will see uh, I will uh, have colors uh, all throughout. And uh, don't worry, it may not look the best now, but uh, when we blend uh, over and over. It will look nice and we will have a border and everything uh, so uh, be patient it will be okay. I love creating book bookmarks uh, because uh, first uh, it makes my reading experience much better. I love uh, looking at something I created that matches the book um, it gives a pleasure. And uh, um, also, uh, it's a small surface. Uh, it's a nice escape from the art journals and other mixed media projects. Also, I don't need to uh, think very hard uh, to create something from scratch. I look at the cover and I uh, and the inspiration starts from there. So I don't need to create a color scheme and everything. So if you are new, I would really suggest uh, you do something like this. Uh, because it's easier. I'm just going to splash some water on the bookmark because uh, it will create a nice effect. Uh, we have distress and distress oxide. It will react with water. And as you see, it looks like nice splashes. 
Now I'm going to have a, a border. Uh, I'm using my Versamark pen here uh, because I'm going to emboss the border with a silver embossing powder. The book has a silver on the cover so I want to have silver elements as well. I'm just going over the edges. You can do this with Versamark uh, uh, ink pad, it doesn't matter. And I am using this uh, powder tool uh, for the powder, not to embossing powder, not to stick everywhere, but only the edges. And uh, I'm using wool, uh, sparkling silver, uh, embossing powder. You will find it in the supplies anyway. Um, and uh, I'm using super fine. I have a regular and super fine of uh, embossing powders that we use the most like white, silver, gold, copper. Those things I think are uh, useful to have. I, I reach out to them quite uh, often. I'm using my heat gun to set it and uh, it looks really nice. Uh, and also it creates a nice uh, frame to all these colors. Now I have uh, these Martha Stewart uh, punches with alphabet on it and I'm going to use a white cardstock. Um, I, I want to stick the uh, title of the book, that's the aim, in white and silver both and I didn't want to deal with embossing on it. This is easier for me. Again, I am putting a, a Ranger uh, em, um, embossing ink this time, but doesn't matter really. You can again use your uh, embossing pad. Uh, I reach for different tools so to use them probably or whatever is easier for me. And uh, again, I'm going to emboss this uh, cardstock with silver uh, all over. And I'm going to punch again uh, the letters from the alphabet and uh, create the title. Uh, with silver and white letters. I'll use this uh, quickie glue uh, because they are really small and uh, it's like a glue pen. Um, so I'll stick my uh, um, title, Nine Perfect Strangers like this. And uh, I'm giving the hole uh, to my bookmark because uh, and uh, I'll put this eyelet in silver and uh, I'm going to uh, use this silver string, uh, bow, whatever it is, uh, to have a little uh, string at the end of the bookmark. Sorry for the sun, uh, it's really annoying, I know. And finally I'm doing some white splashes uh, because there is white uh, on the title, I think it will look nicer. And here it is. Uh, I really like it. It matches the book perfectly. Uh, I will uh, enjoy my reading with my new bookmark. And uh, I, if I can catch the silver, uh, how shiny it is. It looks super nice. I hope you like it as well. And now we can move to the second book, which is uh, The Moon Sister. Uh, the Moon Sister is a part of seven book series. It's a historical fiction, one of my absolute favorites. I love Lucinda Riley's uh, writing. It starts with uh, seven sisters and uh, it's about uh, six uh, siblings, all sisters, uh, adopted by a very wealthy man living in Switzerland. Uh, all of them are different and one day he has a heart attack and uh, dies and leaves a letter and uh, locations to each sister to find their origins. So with each book we travel to another country uh, and it, ha it's, uh, it takes place both pres in present and past, uh, going back to the origins of that sister. And uh, it's beautiful, you travel through countries, you travel through uh, time and uh, go with that sister to discover their past. It has a bit of uh, romance, uh, love uh, and uh, a lot of adventures. I learned a lot of historical uh, events, a lot of culture. It's very rich and as a historical fiction, if you like historical fiction, I would really recommend it. Um, it's uh, really beautiful and I started to read this book and absolutely in love. So coming to the bookmark, uh, because it's called the Moon Sister, I'm going to create a moon. 
uh, with my dies. Uh, I'm taking uh, these little circles and I'm going to put them one inside the other. Um, to cut a moon, you will see how it looks with my Sizzix machine. It didn't cut uh, properly, I don't know why, but I'll help with my scissors and you will see the moon. And uh, this time I'm going to use my six acrylics. This has uh, a little bit shimmer to them, so they look very nice and shiny. I uh, use two colors, one is a purple, one is a pink. And uh, I will make a nice uh, blending from pink to purple. As you see in the book, I'll just blend the two colors uh, that you saw on the screen um, until I am happy with the background color. Uh, and I will show you how shiny it is uh, once I finish. These are transparent uh, acrylics. Uh, it's a glaze uh, as it's uh, clear from the name. Uh, so I'm uh, layering over and over to make a solid color. Um, I could use Prima Art Alchemy paints as well, uh, it doesn't matter. And I'll show you how shiny it is, it's really nice elegant shine. And now uh, I will mix a couple of colors to create a salmon uh, color, because that's what I see on the, color, on the cover as another color. Uh, just a, a little bit pink, light pink and uh, maybe blood orange. And this is the color I'm... Uh, I wanted. I'm using this uh, stencil from Tim Holtz. Uh, he calls these scribbles. I see roses, so I always use it as uh, roses. Because this book takes place in Spain and there's a flamenco dancer on the cover, uh, I'm not going to draw a flamenco dancer. I'm not that talented, so I uh, decided to use the roses in her hair as a symbol. So I'm going to dab. Uh, from this uh, heavy body acrylic paints uh, because if it's a uh, mixed media paint uh, it will be more liquid and it will be difficult to manage so I use the heavy body acrylics and uh, create my roses on the corner of the bookmark now I'm going to emboss the title of the book uh, I'm using this very nice alphabet from Concord and Ninth um, sophisticated alphabet I think it's called and uh, I used my powder tool again for the uh, embossing not to stick everywhere. And I'm using my Versamark to stamp uh, the first uh, word, which is the. Uh, so only for the I will use this alphabet because it's too big. Uh, and I will uh, emboss it uh, with white because the... Uh, title of the book is white on the book and then I'm going to use uh, smaller letters for the rest this is my Xavier uh, alphabet uh, set it has many options uh, so I chose uh, the big uh, capital letters uh, to stamp the rest of the title which is Moon Sister I am starting from the end because I want the title to end here near the roses so I'll go backwards and again I'll use my bright opaque uh, embossing powder from Woe. I'll use my uh, heat gun to set the emboss embossing powder and uh, now I'll uh, do some uh, sky uh, scenery. Again I'm creating the same color as the roses and I'll use this crafter's uh, companion uh, stencil that has little stars on it and again dab my uh, acrylic paint uh, using this stencil by the way uh, you will find uh, the books uh, the links for the books as well down below at the description area for you to make it easier to find uh, what I am talking about afterwards I'm going to take my moon that I cut uh, and I'll uh, give the same color as the stars and I'll stick it on my uh, on my bookmark. You can draw your own moon. It's not so difficult uh, to draw, but uh, I don't know. I'm I don't have the talent to draw, or I believe I don't. And uh, finally, uh, I'll I'll do some white splashes as well. Uh, I gave my hole, and uh, I 
put a white uh, eyelid this time and I'm using a thin salmon color ribbon to complete my bookmark. I really like it. It goes with the colors of the book. Uh, it's actually more purple than what it looks on the camera but uh, it will do. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to reading the rest of my book and I hope you like it if you go into the series. And the next book is Love is Blind by William Boyd. Uh, it's a literary fiction. I read it uh, already. It's uh, beautifully written. Um, it's very sensual, uh, very vivid. It's taking place at the end of 19th century. Uh, the main character is called Brody Moncur. He's a Scottish musician and uh, one day he gets a job offer uh, from Paris and he's very happy to go there. In Paris he meets a famous pianist and uh, his future changes because uh, he meets a beautiful Russian soprano, Lika Bloom, and uh, falls in love with her. The story moves from Paris to St. Petersburg to Edinburgh, so it's very rich and this love will have very dangerous consequences uh, for Brody. Uh, it's a very good uh, novel. I would really recommend it. If you like a uh, slow moving, atmospheric and uh, rich uh, novels that are focused on a character and relationships, uh, this is the book for you. And now let's move on uh, making our bookmark. Uh, I'm going to use again two colors of Distress Ink. You will see them on the screen. I'll use these two to create the color you see on the cover on the, of the book. I'll keep uh, blending until I'm happy with the color. Uh, in the meantime, maybe uh, in the comments, uh, I would love to hear uh, similar books uh, that you read and loved. Uh, please let me know. I always like to learn what others uh, read. Also, you will find the link to my blog and Twitter that I talk about books uh, down below at the description area as well. If you'd like to visit, uh, I do a lot of book posts, um, uh, reviews and stuff. And now I'm going to use this archival ink and my stamp area stamp that has crackles to give some texture to my bookmark. And there are a little bit cracks on the book cover. Uh, that's how I decided. I'm using my beloved uh, alphabet set again to uh, stamp my uh, book title. I'm using this uh, vermilion color from Archival again. I love these mini uh, mini ink pads. Uh, they are much cheaper and uh, you can buy more colors. I'm just uh, stamping Love is Blind uh, that matches again the color on the cover. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I cannot help myself to use some hearts uh, because it's uh, uh, about love. And I'm using my Martha Stewart punch uh, to use the same color uh, that I used on the title. Just to have a couple of hearts here and there. I'm using my quickie pen uh, to stick them on the bookmark on the side of the title. And I'm using again the same color to give a subtle border. Uh, maybe you don't see it clearly, but it makes a big difference to have this border um, because it looks more structured. And again, I'm going to give my hole uh, to this bookmark using an eyelet. And uh, I will use uh, the same dark red uh, color ribbon uh, to complete my bookmark. This was relatively easier than the others. I love this uh, ribbon. It really completes the, uh, the bookmark and it's so beautiful. And here it is, uh, our bookmark for this book uh, matching with its colors and design. I hope you like this video as well and uh, you want me to continue this series. I will make a play playlist uh, on my channel for these videos called Books and Bookmarks. Here are all our uh, three bookmarks. If you like these videos, please don't forget to hit the like button, uh, comment or subscribe to my channel. That's how I know you like them and continue. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.